I believe 2023 is going to be remembered as one of the great buying years as an investor or a homeowner. Now, in this video, I wanted to explain which markets we see value in, what types of properties are going to work in 2023, and what suburbs you should be looking out for. So what markets around Australia do you think represent value in 2023? For me personally, I see the most value in Brisbane, Perth and Adelaide. And that's because we are not just entering the second half of the real estate cycle. But when I look at them statistically, these are the three markets that have underperformed relative to your Sydney's, Hobart's, Melbourne's and Canberra's in the last 10 years. Now, obviously, like any market, there are pockets that have done extremely well and there are pockets that have underperformed. For example, in Brisbane, I know of suburbs within 25 k's of the city. One of them has done an average of 4% a year for the last 10 years, and the other one has averaged 12% per year. So when I see things like that, I see opportunity. Now, based on your experiences, bro, what you're noticing, what type of property do you think is going to do well in 2023? Now, to me, it's all about the numbers because the numbers don't lie. And when you look at the last 30 years in those metro markets that you're talking about, Houses have increased by about 453%. So buying houses in quality established suburbs has been a tried and tested strategy that's worked time and time again for investors. And based on what you're saying, do you think that will continue in 2023? Well, nobody has a crystal ball and nobody knows exactly what's going to happen in the future. The power is in the land, not what's sitting on top of it. So you want to control as much land as you possibly can. And over the long term, houses look great. But it's not as simple as just going out there and buying any house in any suburb. You want to be buying as close to the city as you can afford or as close to the beaches that you can afford in established suburbs where you've got good schools, good public transport options and other amenities that are going to bring high quality demographics into those suburbs. You want to buy big pieces of land in quiet, family friendly streets where there's more owner occupiers that are house proud than renters that just don't look after the property as well. Now, in terms of what we're noticing in terms of property types, the most expensive houses around Australia have taken the biggest bath at the moment, particularly those over the $1 million mark, where the properties in Australia that are under the most demand at the moment are the more affordable ones around that 500 to 700k range. So let's say that I want to buy Brisbane, for example, and then we know that there's North, South, East, Central and West Brisbane. How can a first or second time investor or homeowner find the right suburb based on fundamentals that will work in 2023? Well, the first step is really simple. You've got to understand where you're at right now and what you can borrow. So go talk to your bank manager or mortgage broker and get some ideas from them. And once you've got that feedback, you really want to buy in the highest quality suburb that you can afford. So there we just come back to the fundamentals of property investing. You want to buy in a suburb where there's more owner occupiers than there are renters, where there's really low vacancy rates, where that DSR score is sitting in the sweet spot in suburbs where we're seeing consistent population growth, infrastructure growth and job growth and just trying to buy as close to the city or as close to the beach that you can afford within your budget. Beautiful. Well, I think 2023 is going to be a special year. We are talking about the largest decline in Australia's recorded history in terms of prices. If you're a value shopper, if you like to take advantage of the market when other people are scared, 2023 is certainly that sort of market. I think there are incredible opportunities, particularly in Brisbane, where the Olympics is coming in 2032, but obviously Perth and Adelaide look cool statistically as well. For those of you that really want to move into the market this year confidently and with a data-backed approach, then we would love to offer you a one-on-one strategy session. Simply jump over to our website, www.pumpedonproperty.com, and myself or my bro Simon can sit down with you and talk about where you are today, We'd like to be longer term, exactly what's going on in the market right now so that you can navigate safely either on your own or potentially become one of the extremely small number of people that we work with each week. But either way, we wish you all the best this year. For many, many people, doing nothing is probably a good solution this year. For those of you that can stomach this type of market and love a discount, it's buying season, baby. Woo! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a Yeah. Sweaty, so sweaty. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so nice, eh? Oh.